Today, I will guide you through the detailed wiring connections between the DVR, for cameras, the DCSMPS, the display screen, and the internet modem, complemented by simple animated diagrams for better understanding. Please note that similar connections can be made with any brand of CCTV system, as this wiring method is quite common across different brands. Let's start with an overview of the components involved in this setup. To begin, we'll connect each of the cameras to the DVR, with power taken from the camera SMPS. In this demonstration, we will be using 3 plus 1 CCTV cables with BNC connectors. Connect one end of the cable to the camera and the other end to the corresponding video input on the DVR. Next, we'll connect the DC SMPS to the cameras. Take the power cables from the SMPS and connect them to each camera. Ensure you match the positive and negative terminals correctly. The 3 plus 1 CCTV cable includes three wires for power and an additional wire for microphone connectivity, which is separate from the video cable. Please use these three wires solely for the camera's power supply. At the DVR side of the 3 plus 1 cable, prepare the three wires for connection to the SMPS. You can use any color combination for the wire codes, but it's crucial that both ends of the cable match the positive and negative polarity correctly. Connect the power wire as shown in the provided illustrated diagram to ensure proper installation. Always check that the polarity is correct. For example, in this cable, the red wire is designated for positive, while the black wire is for negative. The same color scheme should be used on the camera side as well. Now, let's prepare the other end of the cable, where we will connect to the male DC pin for the camera's power supply. It's vital to follow the correct color combination for the positive and negative polarity at this connection point. The provided diagram illustrates the correct connections for clarity. Properly matching the wires helps prevent any potential electrical issues that could arise from reversed polarity, which may damage the camera or inhibit its functionality. As with the previous connection at the DVR side, you will use the same wire for the positive connection. It's essential to maintain the same color scheme as used on the SMPS side. For example, if the red wire is designated for positive on the SMPS, it should be used in the same manner here. The other wire will be used for the negative connection. By consistently using the same color coding throughout all connections, you ensure that power is supplied correctly to the camera. Do the same connections for the second, third, and fourth cameras. Then connect other accessories to the DVR, such as the DVR power adapter, mouse, and display screen. The last step is connecting to the internet. Use a LAN Ethernet cable to connect your internet modem or router to the DVR LAN port for mobile app or PC software connectivity. Finally, turn on the CCTV system once you have completed the connection setup according to the diagram. Thank you for watching. We truly appreciate your support as we strive to create more valuable content like this for you. If you found this video helpful and informative, please take a moment to like and share it with your friends and family. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you won't miss any of our upcoming tutorials and guides. Your support motivates us to continue delivering high-quality content aimed at enhancing your experience with technology.